as you saw in our other video, we had a colony die on us. They froze out, I believe, and we're gonna do a mite count on the dead bees in the hive just to see what that looks like. So we looked at a publication online. You can use rubbing alcohol or you can use de-icer. We've got de-icer here. We have a jar to shake our sample up in. We've got this half cup measuring cup. We've got a strainer and we've got a lunch box without a lid on it and it's white. That's the reason we're using it so that we can see our mites after we get them in there. If this looks really familiar, maybe except for uh, using rubbing alcohol instead of the windshield wiper fluid, uh, it's because there's already a great video on this. But they're with live bees. These are with dead bees. We're basically doing an autopsy and just trying to gather data to see what these look like. Now, have the mites already left from the bees? Possibly. Are they dead with the bees? Possibly. But we don't know, so we're gonna check it out. Here it goes. Now, what we did was we just took this hive apart the other day and put it right back together. Because everybody was dead, so we just stopped messing with it. You know what we did? I think that we dumped all the bees off, didn't we? Mm, there's still some down here. We need a half a cup, is what we need. It seems to my brain like there were some frames that had bees on them. I think there was. So we're gonna go through and find those. We're just gonna shake them off to the bottom. Oh, there he is, he's back to life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like whenever you were doing that, I was like, you look like the guy off of the, the uh, what is it called? Um, the Green Mile? The Green Mile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, look at here. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna knock them bees off. If you didn't know what we was doing just then, we were seeing if they were in torpor. Now what that means is, is that the bees are basically hibernating real hard, but they weren't. They're just dead. <laughs> I hope that we got enough bees to do it. We might not have enough. Goodness. Yeah, look. There's been bees on cap and that's it. Mm -hmm. the Robber bees. bees, that's right. If you hadn't watched out the apple trees and robber bees video, do that. Here's a link right here. We've got some in here. There's some right there. I don't think we're going to have enough bees to make this a good study, but we're going to try it. And this might not be the most scientific thing to do right here, but we're trying. Look at there, look at those baby bees. Or those bees that was trying to get honey, honey stores out. Hmm. You know, they are, because if you think about it, what way are baby bees? They had to go in that. There you go. That's eat. right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save this frame, and we might cut those out if we don't have enough bees. So, we're going to put it right there, and we're going to keep on looking for them. What she want? Oh.
There's a little bit of honey on the side of that one. Why are the cones black? They're just older. Hmm. Whenever they get black, black, a little bit darker than this, you need to get rid of them. Or at least get the 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 wax and everything off, you know, and sanitize them. Yeah. Well, I hope that we have enough to do this. That dummy that cleaned the hive out the other day got rid of a bunch of the bees without thinking about it. We're not gonna have enough bees. And I think that if we got them up off the ground over there where we dumped them at, that would just not even be close to scientific, would it? See they've been robbing mm -hmm. out there. Well, that's not fun. I really wish we'd have thought about it whenever we did it. But we didn't. We are probably just too overwhelmed with all the dead bees. So let's just see how many we got here. And you know, these could be robber bees for all I know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, put it out. Yeah, because that's, yeah, you're right. Oh, this is so dangerously close. I'm probably knocking mites off. But I guess you'd be knocking them off too whenever you thump the um, frame down if they were live bees, wouldn't you? Who knows? Be dangerous or close. Now there's some cappings and some stuff like that in here, so we're just going to let it go over just a little bit. Oh, no, we're not. This is a half cup. Oh, we need it to be full. Well, snap. I was thinking we, we had a cup. No, it needs to be level at the top. Maybe there'll still be some bees down the bottom that we didn't shake off good. And don't, let's, not, let's not forget that we've got that other frame that has um, some. That we can cut out. We're gonna see. Let's cut these out real quick. Look, look at that high beetle. We don't want them in there. All right, here, let's cut these out.
the reason we're doing this is because whenever we came out here and found out the colony was dead, I took the, the bottom board and took it and shake, shook it and got all the bees out. I just instinctively threw them away and not thinking, well, we could do a post-mortem mite test, Varroa mite test. So here we are like dummies with a pocket knife picking bees out of a frame. <laughs> What are you doing in your spare time? Oh, use my pocket knife to dig dead insects out of wax. Okay. We're not at a half cup, but man, we're pretty close. We're probably at nine tenths of half a cup. Does that make sense? You know what we're going to do? We're gonna roll with it. Cause I'm curious to see how many are on this much. Slips on down, <laughs> Okay, there's that. We'll put our sample right there. Put this in here to feed the neighbor's bees. Now, there is our laboratory. If you'll come close, we'll put this in. Here is our sample of bees. They're coming to pieces. There's something in there that looks like there could be two of them. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that, that could be, and that could be, but they've been dead for a little while. So I don't know. I, I would lean more towards no than yes, that there weren't any, but that's possible that there were. So, everything did not go exactly the way that we wanted it to. We didn't get exactly the perfect sample size. I would have rather used isopropanol alcohol and I would have really liked to have a screen on here, but I didn't have it. So, we used a kitchen strainer. My wife is finding this out right now for the first time. Um, Maybe they didn't have any. Maybe they leave whenever they die. Maybe there's no reason for them to be there. Or maybe they die and uh, 
that broke them down really easy. I don't know. If you know, leave us a comment. Leave us your thoughts in the comments. We're going to keep on figuring this out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to us. Hit the little subscribe button. We're on Instagram if you want to follow us at Baker Family Farms. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video so maybe we can figure this out together. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll run them down. That's how we made this video, actually. Somebody mentioned a mic count. Uh, any other good ideas, send them to us and we'll go for it. Thank you all for joining us and God bless.